Hello, everyone. My name is John from Community Life Church in Catskill, New York, and this is Meals Ready to Eat from the Bible. Please like, subscribe, hit that bell icon to get notified. Facebook, follow us, like us, and everybody, please leave a comment. Thanks. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. This is our continuation of the book of 1 Peter, and today's episode is We Should Speak Well of God for he provides us with hope, a great hope, as we'll see. Our hope, our inheritance, is founded on the resurrection from the dead of Jesus Christ. Now, we're going to see in this passage a couple of things. We're going to see a phrase, blessed be God, uh, gives, I'm going to talk about hope, gave us hope, and a peculiar word, inheritance. We have an inheritance. and An inheritance is something that we get when someone dies. They pass on to us as a result of that something property, a house, uh, typically in our world. But Jesus is talking about an inheritance that is a lot different from that. So let's switch over on to switch over to the Bible and take a look at the passage we have today. Again, this is 1 Peter 1, 3 through 5. Blessed be the God. We see that phrase, blessed be, and that means to speak well of God, to, to praise him. Blessed be the God and Father of the Lord Jesus Christ. According to his great mercy, he has caused us to be born again to a living hope. So he gives us a great living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. It's tremendous power to to raise someone from the dead. Only God can do it, and he did it for Jesus, and he's going to do it for us. To an inheritance, because of the fact that Jesus died, we have an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, unfading, kept in heaven for you. Each of us has an inheritance, who by God's grace, talking about us, we are being guarded through faith for a salvation ready to be revealed in the last days. So this is the scripture we're going to look at today. We're talking about some things, and we want to break these down and see what God is saying to us, uh, see what the message is here for us, and, well, let's get started on this part. (coughs) <coughs> blessed here means to speak well of or praise most often in the New Testament not always in the Beatitudes it's, it's, it's different but this word means to speak well of to praise so if someone's going to speak well of you they're going to bless you and it doesn't mean we're getting something it means to speak well of and by his grace we have hope you know because of what God has done we just saw in the scripture raise Jesus from the dead because of that we have a great eternal and powerful hope and this is something that we can't we can't it can't be taken away from us jesus being raised from the dead gives us this great hope you know death fear of death is in our world right now overwhelming you know no one wants to die no one wants to get sick people want to live forever rich people are trying to concoct a diet whereby we'll live forever but this hope that we have we don't need money we don't need power what we need is God's grace, and Jesus being raised from the dead gives us this hope and gives us this grace. <clears throat> and we've inherited this from God. We get this hope from God. And being an inheritance, again, is something we get when someone dies. They pass us money or property or something like that. But this is bigger than that. It's greater than that. It's a, it's a tremendous hope. And it says here, this hope is in heaven, it is eternal, and it is lasting forever. So we don't have this hope is not going to fade away, we're not going to spend it all and run out of it. This is a great, eternal, everlasting hope. And this inheritance, we get this through the death of Jesus, this inheritance will not decay, and it will not be corrupted. <coughs> the things of this world, the government's not going to come and take it. And someone's not going to steal it from us, this is it cannot be decay, it cannot be corrupted, and it will not fade away. This is eternal. That's the word eternal means it's there forever. As a matter of fact, it's bigger than forever for us. And we are guarded when we live by faith. We're living by faith. In, uh, in Romans one seventeen. it says the righteous will live by faith. It says that in other places as well. But when we live by faith, we're guard, guarded by faith. And our faith comes from God by his grace. Okay, so where does that leave us? What does that tell us? And what can we do with, with, with this? Well, we have all of this is done by God, by his grace. So we just have to understand that and accept it. We, 
we, his grace is coming on to us, it's being poured onto us. And when we get this, we accept it by faith, by grace through faith. So the same God that raised Jesus from the dead is providing our hope. Remember, that hope can't be taken away from us. That hope can't be destroyed by this any worldly or even heavenly power. That hope comes from God by his grace. So remember, we're kept by God, we're guarded by God, and because of that, we have a great hope. So don't be disturbed by all the stuff we see going on in the world. We have our hope founded on the eternal work, the powerful work of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for listening. We'll see you next week. Have a good one. Hey, right, thanks for watching. We, you can find us on the web at clchurch.cc. That's clchurch.cc. We meet 1030 Sunday mornings in 20 West Main Street, Catskill, New York. Hope to see you there, and thanks once again.